this video is essentially to explain SEO and SEM or as the full forms go search engine optimization and search engine marketing. Now these are two terms which are uh, commonly uh, there's a lot of confusion and uh, you know wrong a misunderstanding about these terms and what exactly they connote and what the process is. So here is a quick primer into SEO and SEM. Now, as you can see from the text here, SEO stands for search engine optimization. And this is the process for getting traffic from the free organic editorial or natural listings on search engines. Now, all major search engines such as Google, Yahoo, Bing have such results where web pages and other content such as videos or local listings are shown and more importantly ranked based on what the search engine considers most relevant to users. There's no payment involved, but this is a process basically to get your ranking as good or as high as possible. Watch this video next to get some more ideas about what SEO is all about. What is search engine marketing, first of all? Well, essentially, it's anything that improves the position your website has got on search engines such as Google, Yahoo, MSN, or Ask, and the amount of traffic that you receive from those. Why is this so important? Well, if you think there are 40 million websites online today, how are people going to find your website as opposed to anyone else's? Well, actually, they use search engines. Stats show that over 70% of first-time visitors to a website come from search engines. So you can see that search engines give an incredibly targeted method of attracting website visitors. What is search engine marketing? Well, if we look at this Google results page, you'll see very clearly that it's split into two discrete areas. On the left-hand side of the page, we've got the natural listings, and results in those are achieved via search engine optimization. You'll see on the right-hand side, paid listings, and results in those are achieved via pay-per-click or paid search marketing. Both are very important to your business. If you look at how people use Google, for example, you'll see that over 70% of Google users prefer the natural listings or the left-hand side of the page. Contrast that with MSN, though, and over 70% of people prefer paid listings or the right-hand side of the page. What does this give you though? What does search engine marketing do for your business? Well, essentially it gives you really targeted traffic at really low costs. If you look at the stats of a study of people and their marketing activities within the UK, you'll see that over 69% of people surveyed said that search engine optimization was their highest performing marketing activity in terms of return on investment. Contrast that with things like email, that was down close to 60%, Postal mail down at close to 30%, or even something like online banners, which are down at less than 20%. And you'll see how efficient search engine marketing is. In summary, if you're serious about business online and attracting visitors to your website, if the internet is important to your business, you need to be looking very seriously at search engine marketing. Paid search and natural search both undoubtedly have their place. But if you're not looking at search engine marketing, you're undoubtedly missing out on a massive opportunity online. So that should serve to give you an idea about SEM or search engine marketing and how, what are the points of difference between SEM and SEO. Essentially, as you see here on your screen, search engine marketing is an umbrella term that describes the different methods you can use to make your website more visible on search engines so that you can drive more traffic to your site. So SEM actually includes both free search or which is the SEO part that we talked about earlier together with paid search or pay-per-click advertising to increase exposure for your website. Now as we said earlier SEO focuses on designing and optimizing your website so that your site will rank higher within the organic search results pages, which are the free search part. And SEM is basically determining the, the uh, you know, channels or, or the, the adverts or, or the pay-per-click schemes 
or, or sponsored uh, results that you're going to opt for for your uh, r r result to come be visible and rank fairly high in the right hand side that we just showed you so that we hope explains to you in brief detail uh, what SEO and SEM essentially are thank you very much for listening in to this quick primer